joke. Face Reese. They should have called it the face place. They should have called it the place of the <laughs> faces. Much, much kid. <laughs> Mark Zuckerberg, we need to have a chat. Yeah. You're welcome. <laughs> All right, and our takeover is imminent. We're live. Hello, everybody out in the world. It's high noon here in the studio. I'm here. Uh, my name is Boss Lissa, and I'm with many people. Who are we with? Miles. We got Miles. What's up, guys? It's Chad Ellie McGee. Chad Ellie McGee. Uh, it's Danable here. Danable. <coughs> and joining you once again, it's Dee's the manager. What up, y'all? Welcome up, back please? to the High Noon Show. It's going to be a great show. We got more loud to smoke with y'all. We got a few more videos to show you. We got mm -hmm. Chad Ellie McGee in the flesh. It's going to be great. Welcome, guys. I, I think yeah. it's flesh. <laughs> <laughs> Thank, thanks for having it's us once again. Um, you're very welcome. Thanks for coming by. Oh, most definitely. We should roll a joint, first of all. Yep. What else are we even doing here if we're yeah. not smoking weed? Facts. Um, Hold up. Facts. Hold up a sec. Oh. The YouTube doesn't seem to be working. The oh, YouTube doesn't guy. seem to be working. I got the joint covered. Try refreshing. Yeah. The unpackaging of the king size joints that you can find at most cannabis culture locations. King size joints. Oh <laughs> shit! Nice. Oh, I don't even have to like get in the pre-roll zone. Okay. You came prepared already. So ready for the world. So I do believe this pre-roll is King Tut. King Tut. King Tut. Yeah. Mm. I have tut. some uh, nice pink tuna here. Some that tuna. I was gonna roll up. Nice. Yeah, I think I brought some uh, Ghost Train Haze today. Nice. And uh, I I brought the guava back. It, oh. But but this is straight sauce. So this stuff's like Stop, bomb. Stay. Bomb stuff. Super loud. Super loud. You don't have to yell. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to Cannabis Culture and D's for hooking me up with that joint before we played the show last night. Oh, is it from the lounge? It is. Nice. These ones go for like eight bucks? Something like that, yeah. Yeah, we got big joints for eight bucks, regular size joints for five. B big old doints. doints. Big old doints in Amish. Oh, we don't have an ashtray. So yeah, you mentioned uh, the show last night. We just, you guys were here doing a show at the lounge. How was it? It was fantastic. Yeah? <laughs> I want to give awesome. a, I want to give a big thanks and shout out to everybody who came out, all the openers, uh, D Wayne, Lane Curtis, A One, Finch and Julius, and of course the homie Danable. You guys really showed up, uh, and, and Vancouver is always like a magical place and. Uh, Really makes the dream come alive. So thank you guys for showing up, and we can't wait to come back for sure. Yeah, it was awesome being here. It was so much fun. Great vibes last night. Fuck yeah. <laughs> it was like, great. Uh, there's usually a pretty good turnout, too, for the hip-hop shows here. I think hip-hop and weed just kind of go oh, hand in They hand. definitely support local. <laughs> and it, you, like the cultures definitely <laughs> go hand in hand, for mm. sure. Except definitely. usually with the blunts, right? <laughs> Blunts, if it ain't a backwoods, it ain't all that good. For sure. <laughs> Where's your boy when you need him, eh? Yeah, I thought he was going to come by today, but I guess uh, guess not this time. Did run into him this morning. He was on his way to jam for some breakfast. Mm. So he's probably still in the lineup. Pro <laughs> probably, to be real. Yep, it's a facts. Saturday, like, Jesus. Lined up down the block. I forever thought that place was called Jarn. <laughs> yeah. I was like, why would they call it Jarn? Yeah. <laughs> it's just the way they write it. It's jam. Jam. Like a breakfast. <coughs> jam. Whoa. King Tut, eh? King okay. Tut. I forgot I needed to grab an ashtray. I'm going to do I that. I think I got some of that stuff from the Stash Club one time. That was pretty good. Yeah, how how are you finding the weed out here? It's, it's not this accessible in Alberta for you guys, eh? <laughs> no. Um, funny story. This is what it comes like in Alberta. You know, the random Alberta special right there. <laughs> That's what it's like. <laughs> yeah, do we need the we need the loud camera for this? Yeah, for sure. Al although you need an extra loudspeaker to hear this. Yeah, that's the Alberta special right there, for sure. <laughs> Comes in a tied baggie and everything. Yep, yeah. you Not got sealed. it. <laughs> Perfect. I, I bet you that was still like forty bucks. Um. Yeah, I don't know. I haven't touched it since I got here, so that explains <laughs> that much. Alberta special. <coughs> the kind that you have to sit in a parking lot for an hour to get. 
<laughs> yeah. <laughs> <In a> Walmart. <laughs> Yeah, Walmart. Don't give out the spot. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> now everybody has to find someplace else. They're gonna be after you. Every Al- every Walmart in Alberta will be riddled with cops now, yeah. looking for little uh, forty dollar pot deals. Yeah, they would be eventually. There's no Tim Hortons there. Yeah. <laughs> Facts. Where else are they gonna go, right? Yeah. But on a real note, Alberta is a beautiful province. We do got dispensaries and stuff on the way there. I know it is a it, it's a rapidly growing and diversifying thing across uh, the country, actually. So it's awesome. Legalization's coming. Well, they're saying it's coming. It's coming. Yeah, as long as uh, they're into letting us have a f- chance at a free market. Exactly. That would be wonderful. I'm into legalization, not this whole Prohibition 2.0 that they've got on the line. Yeah. That's just me and everyone else in this cannabis community. Well, ho- hopefully uh, uh, BC and the, the rest of the country don't follow suit with what Ontario is doing. Right. Ontario, get your stuff together. Come on. Selling it with liquor stores or even following that kind of uh, market or business plan, if you will, looks really good for you, the government. But what about the people? You know, like the ones smoking it. <laughs> Or the ones buying it, or the ones enjoying it, not the people trying to profit off of it. Or the people who have dedicated their lives to it and bringing you the products that you all enjoy today. Right. That they're forcing out. Right. And risking their butts to do it. Like, literally, their entire lives get ruined when they (laughs) end up in jail for something like selling weed or buying weed or possession. Some people are in jail for a simple possession of a joint. Yep. Craziness. Isn't that crazy? And you can't travel anymore. No, you can't travel. Like going to the states is a no. Yeah. Done. Especially being as like a performer and stuff, like trying to get into other countries and mm-hmm. having a record and whatnot just for a simple joint. Ridiculous. Yeah. And it actually, yeah, like, get kudos to everyone that is an artist and doesn't let that fear get to them. You yeah. know? Well, like, I, I smoke cannabis and like I I have a clean clean record. Yeah. And I live in Alberta. It's, it hasn't been legal. Yeah. Right? Well, that's good. Well, I also it, have a clean record. Well, well I mean, well, here's put, like pretty lenient like compared to like some other provinces, for sure. It's true. They are getting more lenient and more accepting in the world and in the country. I think science is just like such a rapidly thing now and uh, information is just passed at such a high rate now it's just like well it's so hard to mislead people anymore because people are talking to everybody right so yeah they got yeah. the information in front of them you can't just bullshit your way exactly yeah into making these things happen sure and they're starting to uh backtrack on these pipelines and stuff so that's kind of promising <laughs> in that they will you know get, <laughs> Sorry, get called out on their shit <laughs> like He's uh, <laughs> D's manager is my younger brother as well, and like this is like a normal thing. D's is dying, so that's funny. <laughs> D's always dies every who, big, small, doesn't matter. You, you want to smoke some hash? I'm in. I don't know what this hash is, but it exists, and it gets you stoned. And I found it yesterday in my stash drawer. So we <laughs> sweet, should, uh, nice. You should smoke some mystery hash. Yeah, it looks mystery like dry hash. sip to me. Well, well, we got the loud camera on here. I'm gonna dry sip, but we should show this guava again. Sure. Is that show the that same that stuff you had? The sauce. Oh. Here, let me get that. Nice. Such a cool camera. That's amazing. That's beautiful. Super <laughs> saucy. What are you guys blazing on over there? Well, I just finished rolling up. I was looking for a filter. Now that you mention it. Oh, it's in my other. Your other pair of pants. I got it. Yeah. Yeah, Yeah, for sure. (laughs) Basically, that's what's happening. Um, But you're right. I should show off a nug of this. Always spark it. What was that? 
Oh, no. Yeah, I just have a little like cargo bag that has like papers and filter paper in it, but it's like not here. <laughs> oh, it's right here. It's like way behind me. It just blends in with the blackness back ah, there. That's so that's the uh, pink tuna kush from 3175 West Broadway. That's our Kitsilano location of cannabis culture. You can find it there for at least a couple days. <laughs> You should show them that blueberry yum yum. That stuff's ridiculous. The blueberry yum yum. I had yeah. this super tasty. I had this last show. Oh, oh, you did? I did. It's oh. true, but it never gets old. It never yeah. gets old. I don't know. That's been my favorite stuff. The, this trip so far, it's been pretty tasty. Well, were you feeling like ludicrous smoking this rap? Yeah, of course night? I was. <laughs> I just need those Snoop Dogg numbers so I can buy 14,000 pounds of it a year. That's all. And <laughs> that blueberry yum yum. That's beautiful. It really is a beautiful thing. <clears throat> it's loud. <laughs> <coughs> yeah. You should bust some of that up there, D's, actually. Well, I got I got a buster full of some ghost train haze right now. Oh, that stuff was crazy good too. Mm -hmm. uh, so yeah, we should probably yeah, nice, nice, uh, definitely a, uh, a really sativa dominant hybrid. Yeah, man. Every time I come to Vancouver, like the second I got to Vancouver, I get uh, I go meet up with Dustin in there, and then like, do you know like Sean like Snoop too? Oh, yeah. yeah, he's like, here's a here's a THC pill, and here's a distillate dab, and here's like, <laughs> and I'm just like, oh my god, I'm like eating my food, and I'm like, yeah, I'm just like getting more high as I sit here, so it was great. <laughs> Welcome to Van. Welcome to Van. Yeah, we're Love it. I'm sorry. Yeah. <clears throat> Just the atmosphere is, is way better. Just so chill. Chill vibes. Yeah. Happy vibes, Word. usually. Yeah. For the most part. Yeah. I don't know, yeah, for no, the most you. part, people don't seem too, too stressed out here. I think it's like, you know, we have beaches everywhere. You can go walk on a mountain if you're feeling like the, the you need nature. I, the only time I feel stress is traffic. Mm. Driving is kind of stressful here. That makes sense yeah. to me. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah true that. Miles just said, uh, or when he's paying rent. But traffic and paying rent is a part of life everywhere. Just to face the day. And then, yo, yo, it'd be really easy to be happy here. I've been taking like, the rain over the snow any right? day. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Nine months of winter in Alberta. Yo, I was like looking, I was on Facebook the other day, and it was like the p picture of like highway to Hinton covered in snow. It's like, don't go here if you don't have to. It's like, oh, great. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. Home sweet home. <laughs> yeah. Two joints says Miles, you should give the guests some gravity bongs. Oh my god, oh, that, that thing was brother. awesome. Yeah, yeah, whatever you gotta do, bust that up. Hey, it's not that. Got some weed. I got, I got, I got some marijuana. Let's here. put the blueberry yum yum in the gravity bong. Yeah, we can do that. Let's do that. That sounds like a great idea. I have like only a bong toke left of this rock star. I feel like that's I think a it's sign. meant to be. It's meant to be. People commenting like crazy. Yeah. That's awesome. What y'all smoking on out there? We want to know what you guys are smoking on too. Um, well, in the past, we've kind of uh, done questions like, oh, what was it like smoking weed for the first time? So <laughs> the world knows me and Miles' answers, but sure. perhaps you guys would like to share your first toking stories? Sure. Actually... Okay. Weed was the first thing I ever smoked ever. Actually, that's the cool thing. It was actually with Lyndon and his fucking brother. It was just like shout out to Lyndon Edwards. Yeah, word, what's up? And uh, we hit this big green bong. It was on May Long, and it was just like I remember it. Just I died like crazy. But then we were just like chilling, and Lyndon's like, "You're so much cooler when you're high." I'm just like, "Thanks, <laughs> man." <laughs> and it was it was, it was awesome. It was just like weed was has always agreed with me. Actually, so yeah, we just mellows me out, and yeah. What was the scenario? Like, what led you to smoking weed in that moment? Peer pressure. <laughs> 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 but for sure, no. Yeah, no. It was. It was just. I don't know. It was just. Yeah, trying to be cool, more or less. But I don't know. It was, I guess it was like at the point of my life. I was actually 15. I was a bit of a late bloomer. Um, 
It's not that late. I've heard of people waiting until like they're like 18, 19, For sure. even 20. And I guess I was experimenting with alcohol at that point in time. So I was like, well, whatever. He Like Let's Lyndon it. did it like when he was like fucking died or something. <laughs> so I was like, yeah, whatever. And I was just like, yo, this is actually kind of cool. And I just like found like a creative realm with weed actually. And I mm. really enjoy it. And um, I use it for medicinal purpose. I don't sit there and get like blazed out of my skull. That's for sure. Unless it's like right now, for example. But <laughs> <laughs> these are special times. <laughs> yeah. For show purposes. Beat in Vancouver. <sighs> yeah, we gotta drive out to Kamloops tonight too. So yeah. Whoa. Yeah. I think, thankfully, one of us will be sober for sure. <laughs> By then, probably. Probably uh, me. After a weed <laughs> nap, for sure. Yeah. A couple cups of coffee. Yeah. Right back at it again. What about you, Danny? What about your first smoking experience? Yeah. Uh, my first smoking experience wasn't that uh, extravagant, but uh, uh, my brother David and I kind of snuck away from a family dinner, and he was like, you want to you wanna smoke a joint? And I was like, well, yeah, I've never tried it before, but yeah, sure, you're doing it. I might as well try it. <laughs> Seems safe. <laughs> yeah, I was like, it's a cool thing to do. I mean, I, I've seen Dazed and Confused. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. That is funny. You got it, John. So uh, it was a family dinner situation. Yeah. yeah. Did you have to like come back to the table being all? It was it was super awkward. I just kind of like ate my dinner all quiet, like and just like try to not make eye contact with anyone because I. They'll know. <laughs> yeah, they'll know. They'll know. <laughs> they knew. They probably. Did. <laughs> oh, they they That's knew. That's awesome. They definitely knew. That's hilarious. What about you? So, uh, yeah, if, if you talk to me and Chad, uh, you, you'll notice a, a, a pattern in our stories starting with Lyndon. <laughs> Shouts out to Lyndon Edwards. What up, what up, what up? Uh, I feel like I anyways, meet this person. Yeah, it was, it, was in, it was me, Lyndon, and actually Chad. Um, it wasn't that long after he tried it for the first time, I don't think. That was within like the year, probably, for yeah. sure. Yeah, so I was like 11. <laughs> <laughs> or you it, no, I was 15, so 15, you were like thir- 13, you little. You're making me sound 12, so bad. 12, 13, okay. Whoa. So I was a little bit older, but anyways, oh, more, more, I was pretty young. Anyways, moral story. It was in the camper, and like literally it was out of some like homemade brass pipe. Get that? <laughs> uh and what I does just that re- mean exactly? I just like heard it was... a metal re- pipe. Yeah, just like, <laughs> like just a bunch of like different like plumbing fucking fittings put together with like a, a screen like it was like a plumbing screen it probably wasn't healthy <laughs> yeah. at all but. i mean like lots of people say their first time was like a pop can yeah so i smoked the pop cans pretty it, hard when i was a kid i mean I, i'm sure it's like comparable it's uh, unfortunate that i moved on to the pop can after the brass pipe <laughs> <laughs> and mom and dad if you're watching this you're probably learning this for the first yeah. time too <laughs> well, maybe not dad maybe not dad maybe dad <laughs> Mom for sure. <laughs> shout out, shout outs to mom and dad. What up? <laughs> yeah, you're learning so much. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's hilarious. Word. Those are awesome. Awesome good stories. Um, to start. Uh, yeah, the whole. How long has it been since you told your, your story? Um, I don't know. I, I don't few, know the it's story. Been a few episodes. Uh, my first time was at like a P and E situation. You know, like nice. one of those. It was the exhibition yes. in Ottawa. That's where I'm from. And so we all there, and I was with my sister's friends who are like only a couple years older than me. I was probably like 14, if I'm yeah. correct. And uh, we snuck off around this corner, and then went, we had one friend out as a lookout in case security or something was going to come. And yeah. he was like sitting on the corner, and we went down a ways so that if anyone was starting to walk this way, he would move his uh, bag a little to the right. And then we'd know someone's coming. And then we're like, oh, shit, put it out, you know, and start lighting cigarettes. Yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. Lighting cigarettes, yeah. But no one came. A couple times he was like, oh, and we're like, oh, no. Oh, no, false alarm. We're good, we're good, we're good. And then I was just, yeah, totally ripped. So so did you guys... Uh, sw- I mean, kind of. You did, did you guys switch out the security watch so he yeah, get to, got to blaze, too? Um, <laughs> I was so no, excited. he didn't want to blaze. Oh, fair so enough. We just were helping like, out. Right, yeah, he was being a, f- real, a real pal. Right oh, on. So Shout cool. out to that person, Brad. You're awesome. <laughs> like, you, I'm sure you guys have talked about the pop bottle thing about this on this show lots. I'm sure. Um, compared to this. Maybe it's been mentioned, but there's always more to mention. Um, With that heady tech. This fell off. Yo, that was awesome. 
That's that Miles Tech. No waste. Um, but I'm that sure you awesome. guys have smoked these things before. Yep. Yeah, Gravity bongs? Like homemade like ones, yeah. Just yeah, homemade. always homemade. Yeah. Pop bottles and milk jugs. Yeah. I used to start the day with like one of those like plastic bag oh, ones. Those were lungs. gnarly, though. Lungs. Oh, the lungs. Those were like... Doing a show. That's the flooring guys. Flooring guys. I wonder if they can hear it. Let us know if you can hear the flooring guys. Because if you can't, then we'll just uh, keep moseying through. Or we'll go tell them to be quiet. Yeah, one of the two. Those are our <laughs> Shouts out to the flooring guys. Yeah. Yeah, they're making it look so nice in here. It the does flooring look is good. sweet. Yeah. Cool. <clears throat> yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna veto out of that uh, hellish looking thing, and I'm just gonna hit this. Uh, Red looking thing. It actually was really smooth. Yeah. It's like it looks way smoother than it looks. It's a, it is way smoother than it looks. It's got me all inspired. All right, I'm in. Inspired. I used to smoke a lot of these. Yeah, weird. That was uh, awesome. That was actually really smooth. Really smooth, right? Yeah. Nice. Whenever you needed to be like subtle, like you know, like those smoking buddy things, yeah. where like in places that you're not allowed to smoke, this is how we would smoke, you know, because it contains it all. For sure. Yeah. And then you yeah. take it all in and then you go through like a. Toilet paper roll with uh, lint. Dryer sheet. yeah, dryer yeah. sheets on the other end. <laughs> I just like the column of smoke effect. I just think it's sweet. Yeah. I panicked a little. <laughs> Did you see that? <laughs> I was like, oh god, it's happening. <laughs> Can't hesitate. You just gotta send her. I hesitated. It's my own fault. <laughs> Cheers to everybody who's checking this out. That's all I can see is big cheers. I need glasses, <laughs> apparently. Danable, let me see these. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> oh, someone over here is like, yeah, we can hear them. And then they're like, no, you're good. <laughs> so I don't know what to think here. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Put a towel at the bottom of the door to your room. Yo, that's a legit trick. <laughs> oldest, one of the oldest tricks in the book. And it fucking works. That's why it's so old. I, I actually you like those like dugouts with the with the one hitters. Like those things are like ninja, really mm, ninja. Totally. Used to walk around in the oil patch with those. Nobody ever caught me. So shouts out to my old bosses who never ever caught me. <laughs> uh, we're smarter than you. <laughs> <laughs> no, legit. No, legit. <laughs> Ooh, yeah, bong toast. These dying. Dead bees. Um, dying. That's the theme. That's a bad theme. <laughs> I don't <laughs> like this theme. <laughs> Not a literal theme. Okay. A metaphorical theme. Metaphorical, okay. Come on. I did kind of die. <laughs> <laughs> that I died so good there. <laughs> so good. <laughs> so good. <laughs> um, <laughs> nice. Oh, no. What's happening? Nice. Whoa. We're good. We're good. <laughs> so you guys had a show here last night. Yes. It was, was awesome. Uh, just you yourself, Chad Ellie McGee. Yes, it was. Uh, well, uh, this is my homie Danable. He's on. He's been touring with me. We're in, from Red Deer, Alberta. We've been touring all over. We did the Alberta run. Now we're out in BC. Uh, we did the Vancouver show. Oh, it was. It was great. Uh, the cannabis culture really showed up. It was like a great turnout. It was like it was awesome, and uh, the, the local scene really puts on here. And it was just a great time, so thank you guys very much. And uh, we're continuing on in Kamloops tonight with the with uh, the homies Robbie G and Donahue. And yeah, and then we'll be off to Saskatchewan after this. So yeah, it's been it's been a great ride though for sure. Nice. Um, well, I, we didn't have any sort of feed going on last night, but we have a video here, the half baked bowls, which was filmed yeah, here. So that's kind of sure. like almost having the same effect yeah it's uh <laughs> this is actually cool like the homie alex from amp visuals and i we shout out to alex yeah we filmed this when we came for the 420 festival uh in april and uh, we actually filmed it here in cannabis culture this video isn't done yet but we actually put together a sneak peek just for you guys here just for you guys here on on the show so this is exclusive for you guys uh, the song Half Big Bulls is from my new album, Past Situations. You can check it on Spotify, iTunes, Apple Music. Um, we'll have more videos on YouTube for Pretty you soon. Pretty much any streaming platform. Deezer, all those little ones Deezer. too. <laughs> Deezer. <laughs> Always thought that was funny, but yeah. Um, but yeah, no, for sure. So it, it's on whatever format you guys want there for sure. All right, we're going to play that now? Sweet, yeah, we'll absolutely. Roll the clip. Sweet. Another 
elephant, hell of it, tell a bit, make you sell a bit, hell of shit when these fellas spit. I apologize, I don't mean to curse words, burn herbs, curb words when I disperse verbs. You want a weed song? Kids can be wrong. Think they talk a lot of heat just because of beats long, ski gone. I'm dabbing at the dollar light, on the mic, have a glint of vision is what I got in sight. Kids think they got the right, wrong and light, spawn of light, the bright and the night, from the jump from upon the night, chess games. Deep breath and think they just gain Dead brains, lyrics leave depressed in a red stain Bars, rappers are lost in the pride Looking for the substance, but it's only chocolate inside Off and it's not, get the shot of hot with the pen Breathe, hit the beats and a release and 9 out of 10 Blast off, then your head flies Feel the rains when you're placed behind your red eyes God bless, it's where your thoughts rest Half bank bowls, rub stress and then a progress Blast off, then your head flies Feel the rains when you're placed behind your red eyes God bless, it's where your thoughts rest Half baked bowls, rub stress and then a progress Welcome right back. on, that was awesome. That was amazing. Yeah. Thank you very much. Yeah, we're, big bowls. we're excited to get that one done, film some more scenes, and yeah, we'll be releasing that one here very soon. Yeah, shout outs to AMP Visuals once again. <clears throat> he does one hell of a job. If you need any work, make sure you hit him up, Facebook, Instagram. He's got a fire sale going on right now, so if you're yeah. trying to take your projects to the next level, definitely hit him up. And Now's yeah, the time. Definitely. Um, but yeah, shouts out to Cannabis Cults for always letting us rock out here, and shouts out to Vancouver show, for always making it a magical experience. Like, you guys, like, make the dream happen. It's, like, great. It really is. Um, it's always awesome to come out here, for sure. Um, so that's one of your new tracks yes that's a baked bowls yeah it's actually it's on the new album we just dropped this year past situations um like i said you can check it on spotify i feel like we should have had a copy here but that's okay i just realized that but that's okay uh, yeah i um, meant to bring that in it, it's it totally okay last um, week and um it's I all good it but you guys can check like that out idiot. um you even just google chat ellie mcgee mcg hie and yeah no it's definitely on there for you guys' enjoyment if you are in the, the Vancouver area, um, like I said last show, I work at the Cannabis Culture Cassiar location, so just come hit me up. I got CDs. You can get some weed, too. We can chat music, chat, chat about weed, you know, chill. Maybe not too long. It's usually pretty busy, but... <laughs> so busy. Still working. <laughs> yeah, still got to work. Like, man, it's like chat. constant people in there. It's awesome. It's great. For sure. It's a, it's a good gig. It's... I, I, you know, working the oil patch and everything most of my life, I never actually pictured myself in Vancouver being a bud tender, being a music manager. I just, like, I figured I would have been, uh, sorry, mom. Of course, mom. <laughs> yeah, I, I always figured I would have been, like, still in the oil patch by now, you know, like, but yeah, I, just, I took initiative and, like I said, Vancouver's the place, makes dreams happen. It's a great place. Anyways, I'm high. I'm rambling on. No, ah, it's all good. It's all good. <laughs> we are all high. Yeah. Did any? Did you guys Very get a dab high. at all? Not yet. I, f I feel like they should probably dab this guava because this stuff's probably pretty good. Oh, you're probably right. Fuck yeah. what I got. Hit that sauce. The sauce. Oh. Got this fancy. Oh. You hear their air compressor now, like. Nee. Yeah. <laughs> mm. So they're working on the floors here at the lounge. They're redoing them in the stairwell and little bits of the office spaces upstairs because they needed it. Yeah, make it all pretty for all the people that come up those stairs. Mm -hmm. So make sure you come down and check out the lounge. Get, rent a bong, come hit some dabs. It's a, it's a sweet place. Speaking of dabs here, it's Shatter Day today, so they're only $4 shatter today. Day. All day long. Shatter, shatter. All day. Come in, pay $5 cover, buy single dabs, get dabbed out. The bar up there, that's new, looks amazing. Yeah, it's really nice. Come check it out. Yeah, shout, shout out to Julius, uh, your boy there, for that awesome mural on the wall, too. Mm. Yeah, totally, the CC. Mural, mural on the wall. So who's who's up first? You. Me? Oh. <laughs> 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 the the okay. the oh, that's like one of those emails. It's just ready yeah, to rock, isn't it? Through, that's yeah. some like high-tech yeah, stuff. They got lots of slack, so I feel like you can you can totally bring it to your face. Sweet. And the capper. Cap. Perfect. That's a pretty cool cap. It's like every cap is unique. Yeah, made by Nico BH Glass. Shouts to Nico. One day you'll be here in person. 
Shouts out to Nico. One day. One day. I look at the camera as if you're watching. I know you're not. <laughs> um, but he made that piece. <coughs> the carp cap, not the piece, actually. That's a red beard. <coughs> it's a what, sorry? A red uh, beard bong. Oh, oh, crazy. Yeah. Beard. There's so many brand names. <laughs> yeah, well, the glass blowers are, are just, uh, I guess, ju- mostly just people. Like, Nico is okay. his name, and then red beard... <laughs> She's got a guy with a big red beard. <laughs> <laughs> really? Yeah. That's like some pirate nice. stuff. That's, so that's awesome. Red beard. Red beard. But, but yeah, I so want to meet this guy. <laughs> <laughs> There's like an epic uh, glass blowing community here. Really? Uh, eh? BC. Oh, that's yeah, so it's, cool. It's, I imagine. It makes sense, I guess. Right? Like, um, so there's all kinds of little things made by all these different people. It's really cool. Economic opportunities everywhere, mm-hmm. actually. Yeah, and it's like an art form. It's like yeah, glass. really though, it is an art form. Yeah. That's really cool. But it is true. There's so many brand names when it comes to weed these days. Like everyone, Danny's has like going next. there's like a million types of papers. There's a million types of um, yeah. shatters. There's a million types of like collectives of whatever brands to get the weed. Like even the weed is branded. Some of them. Yeah, it's crazy. It's pretty crazy. <laughs> Like the shatter, I find is actually really hard to keep up with anymore. It's yes. like nuts. It's There's crazy. There's so many. There's so many people, especially yeah. the rosins. Yeah, it's like, ugh. it's like nuts. Oh, I know a cool story to tell. Why don't you tell them the first time you tr- you tried distill it at 420? <laughs> oh boy, uh, really? <laughs> okay. Well, here I am. <laughs> Set the scene. Well, I, like the, the 420 festival was awesome. Shouts out to everybody who was there. Got to rock that stage for the first time. So shouts out to Dee's for that and Creed Taylor for ho- hooking that up. But yeah, it was a great right time. On. I was walking around there, uh, and they were giving out distillate dabs at this one booth. And I was just like, I never tried distillate before. <laughs> I, do believe, I do believe it was the flight booth. It was a flight booth. Like that, that were crazy stuff. And it was like, and like this girl was giving this out and I was trying to be a big man (laughs) and take this big dab and I was like oh yeah I could take a big dab and yeah I like sat on the hill for 10 minutes and like tried to recover my breath because I was just dead I was just like so fucking high I was just like wow I was just like holy and I, the people tried to like dustin and alex were trying to come to talk to me like you all right i'm just like not talking i'm just like <laughs> just like trying to breathe it was awesome like it was like it was great and great stuff but yeah take that stuff in small doses if you've never tried it before <laughs> if, it, if it makes you feel better I, i'm sure you weren't the first dude who did that with that chick probably <laughs> yeah. fair enough Oh, it's in my turn now? Up, Yo, this is, this is a really cool... Yeah, it's <laughs> really cool dabber. What kind of stone is that? It's a stone that sure. gets you stoned. I'm not sure what kind of stone it is. <laughs> Let me see. Yeah, here you hold that. Some sort of yellow stone. Yellow stone. Like the park. <laughs> Truth. <laughs> Toke, 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 toke. <laughs> nice. That's a fat toke. Fat dabs in Amish. I don't know. I don't know if I know Gang. what small dabs are. <coughs> oh boy. <laughs> Very controlled. We uh, performed Breathing. one of our songs Very last well. night that we do together. It's called Doctrine. Um, doctrine means like a set of beliefs. It's uh, like okay. towards uh, marijuana. Oh, nice. Yeah. What do you mean? Uh, oh. <coughs> yeah. yeah. <coughs> I'm crawling on the floor. That's what animals are trying to say. Yeah, we, we, I have a line in it where it, it's saying, like, every time he takes a dive, he hits the floor. Like, every time. <laughs> this is facts. Yeah, I, I can clarify is. this. Yeah. I feel that. That's kind of how <coughs> I take dabs, too. Don't worry. We all have those. Uh, yeah, there's that uh, oh. heady ass dabber. Yeah. Does anyone know what kind of stone this is? I'll give you a closer look. This is really hard to do. There's got to be like some sort of <laughs> energetical dude out there or a gal. Yeah, right? They got to know what's up. That's really warm near my hand. Come on. <coughs> Sorry, guys. Oh, there it is. If anyone knows, let us know. 
Opal. Not- Opal, somebody said. Sweet. You think? Yeah, I'll, I won't disagree. Sure. <laughs> I don't, it's not like I actually know, so yeah. Oh. I'll, right, I'll, sure. I'll agree with the first person that says something, sure. That sounds legit. <laughs> it sounds legit to me. I just tried to talk into my teacup as a microphone, <laughs> so that's the effect that dab just had on me, so yeah. Yeah, dabs will do that to a person. <laughs> The first time I ever t- had a dab, I was Dabs. like, man, I couldn't believe I can, I, I can't believe I can get this high. I was like, holy shit, <laughs> it's crazy. I feel that. <laughs> One of the first times I ever did a dab, um, I took a really fat dab too. Like someone was like, oh, thanks for letting me stay a couple minutes later um, after we closed. And I was like, oh, no worries, dude. I was just like, you know, doing other things while you packed up or whatever. And he's like, here's a fat dab. And then he does it. And then I have to like... I was like so ahead of schedule of like my job things to do and then I took it and then I coughed for maybe 10 minutes and then I was just like, you know, having trouble catching my breath and stuff and then I was just like, holy shit, I am so fucking high. I was like, oh no, <laughs> I have to go count cash and stuff now, like balance the tiller or whatever and you're like, oh no. And I'm sitting there just like counting the five so fucking slowly and Have everyone around sauce. me is just moving like so Saucy. Fast, cleaning everything uh, just like little little busy bees you, you get know? like and i was just like sitting there laughing you get like ninja high though so right slow. yeah you get like ninja high you're just like whoa i just want to get everything i've ever wanted to do in life done right now yeah, just like cool. right now oh yeah that's how it goes yeah <laughs> oh, great it was amazing i laughed a lot yes. you know you're really high when you announce that you're really high yeah. Hold the mic closer. Oh, wait. Yeah. Get right up in there. <laughs> Someone said it's a it's a dab stone. It's a dab stone. It's a dab stone. Dab stone. Yeah. I'll believe that too. Yeah. I will accept that as an answer as well. You sir had the correct answer. Ding ding, we have a winner. That's what you get. A thumbs up. Um so we had something else you wanted to show too. Bam. Yes, we do this thing called 16 Saturdays for those that do follow. So, And we got episode number eight, and we are going to de- debut it exclusively for you guys here right now. So right shouts on, out to the right homie on. AMP eight? Visuals for this. He d- literally worked his ass off to get this one done. But let's uh, watch I'm, Alyssa I'm take this dab first. Sorry. I only have so many hands and stuff. And Why know. don't we have four arms as humans? That's a good question. Imagine I had arms, dude. <laughs> 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 shouts out to Goro from Mortal Kombat. That's the dude's name, right? Yeah. <laughs> right? Where the Miles knows what's up. <laughs> <laughs> Dab. Sauce. That's monster. That's the what in tarnations? <laughs> <laughs> That's the sauce. <coughs> Blue guava. Blue guava. What about Pepstrax? Pepstrax. I'm. Shout out to those guys. Yeah, I'm like on a whole another level of inspired right now. <laughs> I feel that. I feel that. Word. Before we get off track here, uh, 16 Saturdays. <laughs> <laughs> Coming at you now. Yeah. Check this out. And this is uh, this is one's called Payroll. This is uh, produced by Hot Beats, so you can check them out. This is for those guys, like, if you're sick of, like, working your butt off in life and not getting what you deserve. So this is for all you guys out there. That's a lot of people. Payroll, I sort of feel like that's why I stay low My finances are under attack, they never train slow I'm wishing that the pain go, never with the halo Love to stack the payroll, payroll I sort of feel like that's why I stay low My finances are under attack, they never train slow I'm wishing that the pain go, never with the halo Love to stack the payroll, get your money right 
had the coins accounted Bet it's bloody tight Or spill your loins of fountains Watch your buddy fight Even if your boys are mounted Hoist the boys and moist your voice You're dying in the noise you're drowning Try to be buddy buddy Thinking it out while mixing records Give me change for that garbage I don't listen to shit for pleasure Sick and stretch and sick with space and bricks and swift the lesser Your ticks are messy your mind smaller Like the tip is pressing Sure How come rip your stains But I flip the cage And I look at When I ask for dollars Like they tip the wage Red Sporadic flits I'm at the kitchen Split the rage When mold is talking Picture paper But I never lift the page And I got bits of range So really hold me a positive Positive You don't get to sell Till those dollars are deposited I done it for the love I'm about to plead it For the hassle While you off the fuel Your habits go to work To feed my castle Payroll I sort of feel like Since why I stay low My finances under attack They never drain slow I'm wishing that the pain go Devil with the halo Look this at the payroll Payroll I sort of feel like That's why I stay low My finances under attack They never drain slow I'm wishing that the pain go Devil with the halo Look this at the payroll Payroll I sort of feel like That's why I stay low My finances under attack They never drain slow I'm wishing that the pain go, never with the halo. Look this at the payroll, payroll. I sort of feel like that's why I stay low. My finances under protect, they never drain slow. I'm wishing that the pain go, never with the halo. Look this at the payroll. 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 Look this at the payroll. Look this at the payroll. Visuals, 16 Saturdays, love to set your payroll, love to set your payroll. Damn, that was, nice. the, that was the first time for me seeing that. The, the <laughs> damn guy held it out on his own manager slash brother, and damn, I'm impressed with that. Alex, good job, man. <laughs> Shoutouts to you for that. That's sick. Shoutouts to you, L.E. That was dope as well. Thank you. And thanks uh, thanks for everybody, for those guys who are feeling it. You can check out, uh, that's going to be launched on YouTube and Facebook a bit later. It's literally uploading on my laptop right now. Yeah, you can check out at chatellymcgee.com is, is the best way to kind of keep track of everything. And yeah, thank you very much, guys, for letting me share that with you guys for sure. Thanks for bringing that. That looked yeah. awesome. Yeah, People no. People are digging it, too. Yeah, Al Alex is the homie, for sure. And like we definitely, we have a lot of fun, man. It's been an adventure. You can check out all the episodes of the 16 Saturdays on YouTube. Uh, from episodes one to eight, uh, a bit later today, we'll have eight later up, and it's been like an adventure. We've we've shot it all over kind of Western Canada so far, so it's been pretty cool. Anywhere from uh, Red Deer to Edmonton to Vancouver a couple times, so it's been it's been pretty cool. So yeah, it's been a lot of fun for sure. Right on. Yeah, if you, if you tuned in, uh, in with us last week, we did show uh, sixteen Saturdays uh, serious. Once again, I still can't think of the number right number off four. Number four? Yeah. I think I did say number four last week, so yeah. I feel okay with myself now. <laughs> <laughs> Killing it. Yeah. Yeah. No, it's uh, it's awesome to just like come on here and like smoke weed with you guys and just like hang out too. It's, it's great. It's just like I just love coming to Vancouver for the experience and just like just to see the culture and it's just such a phenomenal place with all the artwork and just like the intelligence and just like the music and it's just so awesome to come it's out true. here it's like a super uh creative city oh absolutely Everyone's doing yeah. all kinds of stuff yeah and and like just like i i don't know i've never lived in a place where you can just like randomly walk be walking and just become part of a movie set <laughs> <laughs> this is true yeah although i think it, in toronto in certain areas you might find yeah. that a little bit true fair enough often, well, you know alberta's had their fair share of films uh filmed out there too but it's all in the, it's all in the bush <laughs> yeah yeah for sure and like banff and like the, the that area for sure is definitely yep. film lots like jasper and stuff uh what, what was the movie was it the reverend wasn't that filmed in alberta or whatever yeah that was by edmonton and like other places too where uh, did you already say whereabouts in alberta you guys are from Oh, I live in Red Deer right now. I was I was born and raised in Drayton Valley, Alberta, as, as was Dustin. Um, DV, what up? Shout out to you. Danny, Shout out to anybody from DV from? watching this right now. Hope you guys are uh, good. Hope everything's chill. And DV, hope you're keeping it real. 
Always keeping it real. Always. 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 Uh, <clears throat> I will be in Alberta uh, in the next couple weeks because Chad is opening up for the Palmer Squares. So if oh, you are yeah. in Edmonton, in uh, that's the 29th, I believe. Of yeah, that's right. Right after we get back from Saskatchewan, yeah. at the Forge on White. Uh, yeah, October 29th, on the Forge, on, uh, the Forge on White. Uh, so definitely check that out. The Palmer Squares are really sick. They put on a really sick show. Some, one of my my favorite yeah. hip hop duos right now, other than Finch and Julius. <laughs> Shouts out to those yeah, guys too. They killed it last yeah. night. Weird, fuck yeah. Yeah, it's weird that Landon's not here because he he did that last night. Yeah, he. Although he was here nice. last week. He 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 wanted jam. There was always jam this morning. That's true. <laughs> what is this jam place? It's it's like oh, you, you it's a, it's a, it's a really sought after breakfast place. Oh, There's always a lineup. That's like the key to it all, everyone. Always keep a line. Yeah, you should let them know where you're from there, Danibal, and give your shout outs. Um, I'm yeah. originally actually from Guelph, Ontario. Uh, right now, I'm in Red Deer, Alberta. Um. I'm releasing a new album uh, soon on New Year's. Um, it's called Miscellaneous. Uh, it's going to be on Spotify and everything. You can find my name, Danable, on all my social media, Instagram and everything. And uh, yeah, shout out to Cannabis Culture for letting us be on here. It's It's been awesome. Yeah, shout it was to you great guys. to meet you sure. and hang out and get stoned. Yeah, it's been fun. Yeah, shout out to uh, Chad and... Alex for having a great adventure here. It's been uh, it's been awesome. Weird Vancouver's always been a great place to be. Yeah, definitely. What time is it? Um, Do we take? Ah, <laughs> uh, trick question. <laughs> yes. That's awesome. I killed it. <laughs> Yo, that was lit for sure. <laughs> well, I was just sitting there, yeah. waiting. <laughs> I was like, oh god. <laughs> <laughs> uh, there is a bong hoot here. Um, who wants a bong hoot, too? Yeah, give it to Danable. Danable. Then pack me one, please, Mr. Manager. Eh, no. Okay. <laughs> See, the disadvantage of having your brother as your manager, he can still, like, lip you off. <laughs> facts. <laughs> this is facts. Word. But honestly, though, my brother really d does kill it. So big shouts out to you, homie, for hooking all this up. We're no problem, man. <laughs> what is this? That what? one is blueberry. We should show that off, too. The blueberry. We have so much shatter, and all the smoke is the sauce. It's so funny. The sauce. Lost in the sauce. This is how good the sauce is. Here we go. This is blueberry. Nice. That blueberry looks so good. I really like the blueberry strains and just the blue flavored strains in general. They seem to be really good. Right? <coughs> I got At some Blue uh, Dream. Uh, oh, like that stuff Blue is Dream really is good. so nice. It's a nice sativa stone. Very nice. Um, at uh, the dispensary I work at in Kitsilano, um, <clears throat> we have like three blueberry strains like right beside each other. It's like blueberry diesel and then there's the blueberry and then there's a blueberry something else oh my god what is it yum yum was it that no <laughs> we got the no, yum I yum like the casio <laughs> totally drawn a blank on the last one <laughs> it was blue something it was it great was. it was that great she can't remember what it is and it's all so freaking nice um but yeah, that was it. I'm pretty stoned. <laughs> Good. And the uh, getting more stoned continues. It's true. All the indicas today. It is a cool thing to do in Vancouver. <laughs> it's very, very widely accepted here, that's for sure. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's great. Um, that's what I'm smoking. Nice. Blueberry? Right yeah, on. that blueberry. Cheers. Nice choice. I can tell your taste is good. Oh, that's annoying. That's Sander. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's Sander's super annoying. We also right. have the array of hardware tools on display. Yeah. <laughs> Just, it's our, our, our background sound effects. Yeah, I have a feeling it's only going to get louder from here. This is usually uh, just the beginning. And then it starts going... <laughs> and shaking uh, 
the walls. So I think we should get out of here before we destroy your ears if you're listening on headphones. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, we should watch Ellie take a bong hoot first. Sure. Let's do that. It's a good way to end it. Oh, I guess so. And while you're doing that, I will remind people that we have seven shows every week on Pod TV. So today was High Noon, the show where we just get high at noon. <laughs> Successfully. It's success. So a success, you're right. It has definitely been a success. Um, so then Sundays would mean it's the Royal Hour with Kush Queen, and that's tomorrow at 2 p.m. And then Mondays we have Carly Marley and BC Bud Gal with 420 Lifestyle. Tuesdays, Freddie should be back again this week uh, with his show, The Great Canadian Smoke Show. Um, Wednesdays would be from Under the Influence, Marijuana Man, Kush Queen, <coughs> Al's not back yet. He said soon, though. So we'll see what that means. <laughs> and then Thursday, Expert Joints is back again on his regular season, scheduled season. Oh, from um, the new studio. At 4.20. Oh, is that where he's been broadcasting? That yeah. makes total sense. Have you seen Studio it? 710. I've been there. It's yeah. something else. Ah, I haven't seen it all set up. Yeah, it looks nice. Nice. Check it out on Thursdays, 4.20, Expert Joins Live. And then, what is it, Fridays, Jeremiah Vandermeer, Cannabis Culture News Live, should be happening this week. And then next Saturday is us again. Boom. Getting stoned. That's the week. Here we are. Yeah, make sure you uh, <laughs> check out chadelliemcgee.com for all the, the updates on Chad and what he's up to. Make sure you follow him on Instagram. You can find him on Facebook, Twitter. Um, definitely check out the Sixth and Saturday series if if you enjoyed that one we showed today. It's it's all on YouTube. You can also find the the past situations YouTube. music video, the the lead single to the <laughs> album Past Situations. Look that up as well. <clears throat> Make sure you look me up um, at D's the Manager on Instagram, Twitter. You can find me on Facebook. Hit me up. Let's chat music. Let's chat chat weed or something. Like I'm always down to to conversate. So uh, let's chat. Um, <laughs> Everything that he said, I repeat. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I'm here, so he can just <coughs> enjoy his uh, bong hoots. Yeah, for sure. So yeah, like I said, make sure you check him out. He's got lots on the go. But yeah, and on a real note, if you need beats or audio engineering, I also do that as well. So definitely hit me up for all that good stuff. If you need a sick verse on your track or a sick hook, let me know. We'll be coming to your city soon. Also, if you enjoyed those videos, make sure you uh, hit up AMP Visuals, Mr. Alex MacArthur. He does awesome work. Like I said, he's got a great sale on right now. So if you are looking to take take your uh, music career to the next level with some music videos and whatnot, hit him up for sure. He, I do believe he's in the area here for a couple more days. So if you're from the Vancouver area, now's your shot. Do it now. Now. Right now. Text him. He's waiting. And Even Danny, where can people find you? Um, like I said, Danable is my Facebook, Instagram, uh, Danable.music is my SoundCloud. I'll soon be on Spotify. Um, I have a music video up on, on YouTube called The Future. It's also by AMP Visuals. And, uh, yeah, th thanks for having us on here. And thanks it's, it's for been coming awesome. by, guys. Yeah, yeah, thank you. And make sure you hit up Cannabis Culture always for everything you guys need, but <laughs> related. We try to help. And Miles, uh, where can people find you? Uh, here <laughs> at the lounge. Every the lounge. well, not every day, but pretty uh, much, you know, pretty pretty well every day. Yeah. Uh, I'll be here floating around uh, from three to eleven. Come check us out, Saturday dabs, Word. four dollar dabs all day. Three hundred seven West Hastings, second Bi floor, third floor. And big shouts out to you guys again for thank you for having us. Hey, for sure. Yeah, yeah, thank no you. It was a blast. Thank you. Thanks. Uh, love to all. Word. And you can find me. Uh, Boss Lissa uh, on Instagram and oh. Facebook. I exist if you can find me. <laughs> <laughs> Until next time, um, this has been High Noon and we'll see you next week. Peace, y'all.